happened in a few confusing minutes. One moment, the Filipino opposition leader, Benino Aquino, was being led off the aircraft in a quiet, almost friendly manner. Minutes later, shots rang out. There was pandemonium aboard the aircraft. Okay, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our 46 little queens from different parts of the country. So I really love hosting titles for our little women. They're very lovely. It's a testament to how in a few confusing minutes. One moment, the Filipino opposition leader, Benino Aquino, was being led off the aircraft in a quiet, almost friendly manner. Minutes later, shots rang out. There was pandemonium aboard the aircraft. And in a few confusing minutes, one moment, the Filipino opposition leader, Benino Aquino, was being led off the aircraft in a quiet, almost friendly manner. Minutes later, shots rang out. There was pandemonium aboard the aircraft. I looked out the window, and what I first saw was the body of Aquino on the runway, only a few feet from the exit. His face was down on the runway, an extremely serious wound in the back of the head. He was bleeding profusely. It appeared there was no way that he could live. Seconds later, security troops deployed around the plane, gunned down the assassin. Aquino's body was quickly loaded onto a waiting armored van. The assassin left on the runway. It was a shocking ending to a day full of dangers. The man who for years was the principal foe of Filipino President Marcos knew the risks when he boarded a plane in Taipei. He carried forged travel documents. He was determined to end a three-year exile in America and return to the political struggle in the Philippines. At Manila Airport, his backers awaited his return. 8,000 placard-carrying supporters on hand. During the flight, even while surrounded by admirers, Aquino talked at length about his plans. He wanted to see President Marcos. He wanted to help restore the Philippines to democracy through elections next spring. He wanted to be home before President Reagan's visit in November. He knew there could be trouble. He had spent seven years in jail and an old death sentence still hung over his head. He spoke of assassination. Hoping that, uh, you know, assassination is part of public service. My feeling is we all have to die sometime. Now, if it's my fate to die by an assassin's bullet, so be it. But I cannot be petrified by inaction or fear of assassination and therefore stay in a corner. I, I have to suffer with my people. I have to, to lead them uh, because of the responsibility given to me by our people. Within one hour of those remarks, Aquino was dead. Filipino Senator Salvador Laurel addressed a special mass to pray for Aquino. The reaction so far in Manila has been muted, no demonstrations. It is not known yet if the assassination was the work of a single man or an organized plot. A military spokesman announced the Marcos government would launch an investigation. Jim Laurie, ABC News, Manila.
Maryland. Here. 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 Here.